this is the city that many are aiming to reach. Port Sudan, a possible stepping stone to flee the ongoing war. With many hotels booked, some are camping on the quayside. All are hoping that they can get their hands on a ticket to leave the country. When a ship comes, people get their passport stamped and leave. We're struggling. The evacuation process is very complicated. Some people have been here for five, six or even ten days. As both warring sides head to Jeddah on the other side of the Red Sea, four aeroplanes carrying food and medical supplies landed in the coastal city on Friday. Delivering aid, however, hasn't been easy. The challenge is how to get these uh, supplies to where they are needed. We need to do at the same time, both at higher level, from the highest possible level, put pressure on the fighting parties. But the most important to me now operationally is to do with the, with the local, at, at the local level, at, to, to really get access. With convoys looted, the United Nations has demanded that the army and paramilitary guarantee the safe passage of aid. Despite the ceasefires, fighting continues, and the UN warns that 860,000 people could be forced to flee Sudan.